Hey guys, it's Alex here and today's video I am very excited because one, we're doing a full glam tutorial and two, I have a backdrop stand. <laughs> Probably looks exactly the same, that's because, well, for the most part it is, um, but instead of hanging a sheet from my roof and like jamming it in my door, <laughs> I have it on an actual stand, so that's great. I do plan on picking up some sparkly sequin fabric so I can have a pretty little backdrop, but for now we just have this grey sheet. <laughs> okay, I've rambled enough, so let's just get straight into the video, but before you do, make sure that you check me out on Instagram at MakeitWithAlex. All of my social links are linked below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. Anyways, let's just get started. All right, I zoomed you guys in because we're gonna start with the brows first. So I've already flattened them down with a bit of soap, and now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown and the Anastasia Number no. 12 brush to fill them in. I've really been loving not having like fully bold brows, kind of just like recreating a natural thick brow. So I'm just taking a little bit of pomade on my brush and just creating thin hair like strokes. You get the gist of it. So to conceal my brows, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 8B Porcelain Beige. And taking this e.l.f. concealer brush, I'm just going to conceal a little bit under the brow and a little bit on top to fix that one. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to take my sponge and blend this out as I go, just so it doesn't dry in a harsh line. So we're going to do the eyes first because... I can't do my base first and then do the eyes, it just, it just never works. And I'm just going to take my Tarte Shape Tape again and use this as my eyeshadow base. Why don't I just buy more? Because I won't pay a $5 shipping fee, that's why. You may notice that there is pink on my lash line. Uh, that is from the look I did yesterday. <laughs> Please ignore that. <laughs> and now we're ready to begin the glam. I did make a poll on my Instagram with a couple palettes as options for the palette I would use in today's tutorial just because I feel like I've been using the same palette because, well, I have. <laughs> um, I'm not at home so I don't have access to my whole collection. The one that I've been using the most has had the most votes, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to use the one that had the second most votes. And that one was the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. Since there are a lot of neutrals in this palette, I kind of wanted to do something around here, like a cranberry eye. I'm going to take a Morphe E36 and the shade Soda Pop, and I'm going to use this as my initial crease shade. Oh, my camera battery's dying. Are you serious? I'm just going to lay this down pretty low in my crease. Okay, and then the same thing to the other eye. I'm also still waiting for my skincare to arrive. Um, my face is getting like worse every day. <laughs> like not necessarily the appearance of it, but the texture. Like it's feeling dry in some places now, which is really weird. It's never like that. It's just painful to the touch. So like I really want that skincare to come because I'm uncomfortable. Okay, so we have our first crease shade laid down. Now we're going to blend it out. So I'm going to take an M506 and this shade called Jax, and we're going to blend out that crease shade we've just placed down with this. So I'm putting it, this color like primarily over the brown. I don't want this brown to come up very high. I just kind of want it to be a little bit of depth. And I'm doing the exact same thing on the other eye. Oh my gosh, I had takeaways for the first time in like 40 days or something because we came out of alert level 4 um, so now like fast food places are open and like I wasn't that happy to be honest I had a very upset stomach I think one thing I'm really scared of though is because we haven't had stuff like that for so long I'm just gonna start like binge eating it and I don't want to do that because I've made so much progress okay now that we have two ladybug shapes on our eyes I'm going to take the same brush and just fluff the edges out just so it's a little bit easier to blend. So I've put no extra product on this brush and I'm just using whatever is left just to fluff the edge out slightly. I'm going to take the same brush but this time I'm going to go into this more reddy orange shade called Hunts and we're going to blend out the red. I'm only using like a teeny tiny amount of this shade just because I don't want to bring it up very high. This is going to be like one of the last shades I'll use. And then we'll just focus on intensifying the colors. I'm literally just going to leave it like that, like a teeny tiny amount. And now we're going to go back into that Hunt's shade and pat that back on in between the orange and the brown. Just because I want to keep that red shade really focused. Alright, now I'm going to take another M506. This one is clean. And we're going to dip a little bit into the shade Silk Cream. And this is going to be our 
buffing transition shade. So I'm focusing this right on the outer edge as our final color. You know what? I wish they had a matte white in this palette. I use white to blend out my eyeshadow so much more than like other colors. That would be so much better. Instead of those two like white shimmers, one of them if they were all matte white, that would have been amazing. Okay, I'm just like really blending this out into nothing just so that it's a soft transition. Okay, so we've got a nice blend. Now we're gonna go back in and pack that red and orange back. So what I just did is I just quickly re-intensified the colors so that the blend is seamless and the pigment is at its best. I think I'm gonna do a halo eye where I drag the glitter like all the way up to the top. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna go back to that E36 and take this shade Soda Pop again and we're gonna bring that into this portion here but we're gonna leave the middle of the lid blank. I'm only doing it on like the very edge because I want this look to have a lot of color in the middle. I am going to take a cotton pad with some makeup remover on it and remove parts of the eyeshadow where we want to put concealer down just so it's a lot cleaner. So I'm kind of just going in like a triangle shape like that for now. So I'm going to go back in with my concealer and I put a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to tap that over the lid so that we can get our shimmer shades to stick a lot better. I am kind of trying to blend it as I go. Obviously it's not going to be perfect but I don't want any harsh lines. So I'm taking the brush that I used before with the brown and I'm just tapping that over the edge just so it blends a bit nicer. And then where the color comes up to the cranberry shade, I'm just using the brush that I used for the cranberry shade and just blending that as well. And now we're ready for shimmers. So of course, I'm gonna take this cranberry shade here. This is called Cran Apple, and I'm going to pop that on each edge, but I'm gonna leave the middle of the lid blank. So I'm just gonna take this on my finger. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna stick it right there. I always like putting shimmers on with my finger because they just go on so much more opaque. I'm not gonna go all the way up because I will use a smaller brush for that. I just wanna focus most of the product down here for now. Now I'm gonna grab an e.l.f. concealer brush and that same cranberry shade and I'm just gonna bring that up a bit higher and we have a bit more control with the brush. I'm also gonna use this to blend this into the brown shade. And for the very center of the lid, I'm gonna take this pink shade here called Faint on my finger and I'm gonna pop that on the middle. Oh yes, this is like my favorite shade that tied it together so nicely. But now I'm just focusing it on the bottom and then I will use a brush at the very top just so we don't make it messy. Okay, I'm gonna take an M213 and that same faint shade and I'm just gonna drag this up to the very top and then blend it together. Kind of giving me clown vibes though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the same brush and take that cranberry shade and then just use that to blend it all together. And again, I'm gonna go back in with that M506 and the shaded Jax and then just blend this very top part here. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the skin. I look like a clown right now. <laughs> Normally I would prime, but I don't really feel like priming today because my skin is so dry. So I'm just going to go straight into foundation. I'm going to take my Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay foundation today. And we're just going to squirt a couple pumps on my face. And I'm going to blend this out with a sponge. I'm thinking about repurchasing this foundation, to be honest, because it's really good and I really like it. And I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape again to conceal today. I'm just going to put this under my eyes, along my nose on my forehead, my chin, and kind of just over here because there's a lot of blemishes like around my jawline. You can see how empty it is, it's literally scraping across my face. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna wait till all my base products run out and then I can buy them all at the same time and then hopefully the next time they run out, they'll run out at the same time. Now it's time for powder. I'm gonna take my Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Setting Powder to set my face today. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and just set everything down. All right, let's give this face some life back. We're going to bronze. So for bronzer today, I'm gonna to take my Focalore Sculpt and Glow Palette and I'm just gonna use this shade here. And I'm using a fluffy angled brush and we're just going to sculpt the cheeks back out and give some dimension to the skin. Oh. Okay, now for my favorite part, blush and highlight. For blush today, I'm gonna to take the Sigma Beauty Blush in Hotspot. And I'm just going to pop this all over my cheeks. And now for highlighter. I'm actually going to take a shade from the eyeshadow palette to highlight. I'm going to take the shade in light and just pop this on the high points of my face. That is such a good highlight shade. 
like you can't beat that. Okay, I'm just gonna do lips and then we will finish off with the rest of the eyes. For lips today, I'm gonna go on with this nude lipstick from Chi Chi Cosmetics. This is in the shade OM Nude. And I'm just gonna pop this all over my lips. And I'm gonna top it with this The Balm Plump Your Pucker Lip Gloss in the shade Overstate. It's got these pretty like gold reflex in it. And it tastes like peppermint. So good. I need to get these in a full size. I love these. Like, it just is so pretty. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we will finish up with the eyes to complete the look. So obviously we need to do some action on the lash line. I actually wanna keep it kind of simple because I want all of the attention to be up here. So I'm gonna take that Morphe E36 and I'm gonna go back into the shade Jax and we're gonna smudge that under the lash line. I'm keeping it pretty close to the lash line just because I don't want it to be too smoked out. And we're going to take a Morphe M506 and the shade Hunts and just smoke that up a little bit and that's all we're going to do for the lower lash line. I'm taking an M321 from Morphe and I'm taking the same shade and light that we used on our face and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner and under the brow bone. Really want to light up the inner corner just because it is such a dark look and I'm bringing it a little bit onto the lower lash line just so it's really bright. I do want to open the eye up a bit more so I'm going to take this Colourpop Cosmetics cream gel liner in the shade Exit and I'm just going to pop that in my waterline and I'm going to use an M160 116th brush for this. This is just going to help open the eye up just like that. You can see the difference here and here. For mascara today, I'm going to go on with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'm going to coat both my top and bottom lashes. I'm not going to worry about doing it too intensely because I am going to put falsies on, but you do want a nice generous coat. And of course, don't forget the lower lash line. I always like, how do you film doing this? Like, I feel like this angle is so awkward. For lashes today, these are just a pair of Fomix from Wish. I lost one of these, I don't know how. I was just taking the glue off the pair I was wearing and then it was in my hand and I watched it fall and like, I couldn't find it. So I, I don't know where it went. It's probably stuck to a piece of clothing somewhere. Those are gonna be my lashes for today. And then I'm going to apply them with the Duo Adhesive. I am also almost out of this. I am literally out of almost every essential that I need to just do a basic base of makeup. All right, I'm gonna pop these lashes on now. And this is the finished look. I'm actually obsessed with how this came out. I think this is so pretty. I haven't done like a good cranberry in a long time and I feel like this is very dramatic but also very wearable. You totally of course can modify this to your personal makeup style. I just like to be extra. <laughs> I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and if you aren't already, please subscribe. I would love to have you here and I'm sure you will find something to enjoy on my channel. If you'd like to see pictures of this look or participate in more YouTube related things, follow me on Instagram at MakeupWithAlex. I always try to get you guys involved in my videos and that is the best way to contact me so if you want to have a chat just send me a dm on instagram and of course i will be posting pictures of this look and other pictures that you will not see here so go and check me out i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye